Sally and I are here to rescue you from your boring weeknight suppers with a delicious recipe that uses fresh meat and produce from Aldi. Sally is an Aldi Advisory Council member and also a registered dietitian, so she definitely knows a thing or two about clean eating. Today we are making Mediterranean chicken tenderloins with cauliflower couscous. Yeah. And I really like teaching my kids about different kinds of ethnic cuisines. And these dishes from the Mediterranean region are so fresh and good for you. This one is super flavorful and uses a lot of really good veggies. So I'm going to get started on my garlic, onion, and bell pepper. And Sally, you're on chicken duty. Sounds good. We're using chicken tenderloins, which is really smart because not only do you have instant portion control, but it's also a huge time saver. You don't have to cut up your chicken, and it cooks really fast. So we are going to season this with a half teaspoon each of pepper and paprika mixed with a quarter teaspoon of salt. So here we're putting them in our hot pan. Okay, and then I'm just thinly slicing my vegetables here. We're gonna create a nice chunky pan sauce and it cooks relatively quickly. Okay, all set. And then we'll just let this chicken hang out until it gets a nice crust on both sides. Chicken is brown on both sides, so I'm just gonna fish it out so simple but so delicious. And then there should be enough oil in the pan that we can just set our vegetables down in there. And we'll want them to soften and get a nice saute. And then Sally, you are making a side dish I am so excited about. Yes, we're making cauliflower couscous. So instead of traditional rice or couscous, we're using cauliflower. Brilliant. What that does is you get all that great texture that you would with a regular uh, couscous or rice, but you save a whole lot of calories. And we are going to put in about four to five cups of chopped cauliflower florets. And all you're going to do is put the lid on and pulse it a few times until you get the sort of size and consistency of regular couscous. Let's give that a whirl. Okay. So when that's all ready, we're going to come over here. It's pretty good to me. We've got a pan going here with one teaspoon of olive oil. Again, nice, heart healthy oil. You're going to put your couscous in here. And even if your kids do not like cauliflower, try this because they might like this version. That's one of my number one tips for parents is to try veggies in all different kinds of ways. Okay, and then once these veggies have just started to soften a little bit, they get a little bit of color, I think we're ready for some of our other goodies. All right, great. So we have one pint of grape tomatoes that we've just sliced in half. We have three quarter cup of marinated artichoke hearts. We have one quarter cup Kalamata olives and two tablespoons of capers. Yummy. So these will add a nice salty element yes, to this dish. Definitely. And then Sally, will you hit me with some wine? Yes. And if you don't have wine handy, you can also use chicken broth, right? Exactly. Just a little bit of liquid to create a sauce. But I love the sweetness and acidity that we get from this. This is just that winking owl pinot grigio and in no time we'll have created a little bit of sauce. So the last thing we need is just a little bit of dried basil, and then we'll just let this simmer. We're gonna nestle the chicken back into it, just so it can continue to cook, and everything becomes one nice cohesive dish. Okay, so once the tomatoes start to break down and then you've kind of created this pan sauce, you're pretty much ready to go. It's a pretty quick dish. You ready to plate it up? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. All right, so first what we're going to do is add a little pop of color at the bottom of the dish with some baby spinach. This is the Aldo Organic, pre-washed, ready to go. I'm gonna snag this couscous. Perfect, it looks good, it smells so good. It's so simple, it's just two things, but it smells so good. Yeah, it looks great. Add a little bit here on top of your spinach. And then two tenderloins. And then we'll do one more scoop of the veggies and sauce. And I feel like this is such a great take on a chicken and vegetable dinner. So much more exciting than just plain old chicken exactly. and a veggie. For more information and better for you recipes, visit Aldi.us. Or like Aldi on Facebook.